Hi, my name is Tyler, and I started using this technique to get the best skin tones. And I combined an idea from one video and then used a DCTL I found from another video. And it's kind of a unique and genius way to get perfect skin tones. So I want to show you. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and check it out. Okay, now we are in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. So we have an extra shot that I filmed just for an example. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our DCTLs and we're gonna drag this on here and we're gonna scroll down to one that is called Mono Balance. Now this is from mononodes.com. Not paying me for this or anything. I just use it a lot and it's amazing. So we click on this and your skin is either going to be yellow, green, or magenta, right? So yellow is the actual proper skin tone line, and then green is shifting green, and then magenta is shifting more on the magenta side. If you're on that at all, you're good. Like, say if you're properly in balance, right? We move this around, it won't show anything, right? If you have just a little bit, show a little bit, that kind of stuff. And you can adjust the, the actual skin tone indicator on here anyways. So you can move it up and down if you want. Um, I like to just set it where it is so I can get the exact thing. And normally on the vector scope, you'll see like a skin tone indicator line. If you go through here on the three little dials, you can click that on and this will show where your skin needs to be. Right now it looks crazy because it's utilities on, but let's take a look. So the skin is decent enough, right? We look at it, it's decent, but we want it to be all yellow per se, right? So what you do is make a node before the utility and press shift H and basically you drag this, you dial in your skin, right? So it's just affecting your skin, right? And then what you do next is you go to a color compressor and you drag that on to the image that you qualified. And you're going to want to press Shift H again. Um, or you can just go up here, right here where the arrow is at, and just click this on and off, right? So we're turning it off so we can see this. And then go to Color Compressor and then grab a little qualifier on there. And when you grab that, you're going to go over here and you're going to find the skin tone that you like. So I like 255, 255. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on that. The color over here is going to change, right? And take a look and notice this. Whenever I start compressing this hue, we start dialing in the skin just in that area with that hue, compressing that hue specifically, right? So we're bringing it in to the fold. And whenever you turn this off, our skin is now in the right place. So take a look a little quick before and after. Right here, we command F, right? Let's do shift F. So we do shift F and then we take a look before and after look. Before, right here. After, before, after, before, after. Look at that. Now I'm having this perfect skin tone and I don't have to worry about tint shifting and tint shifting the background and doing stuff like that. And it just makes your skin tones on point. I don't really use compressed saturation or compressed luminance. Um, just because I don't really need to do that. And then compressed luminance is kind of wacky in my opinion. When you start doing that, you start bringing in luminance in weird areas and I don't really need that. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned something and you tell me in the comments how, how genius it is and how cool I am. And like and subscribe and have a good day.